What's up guys, I'm Rhett. Welcome back to Lawn Insider. I think everybody wants a yard that their kids can go outside and play barefoot in, or that you can just walk around barefoot in, but to do that, you can't have too many bugs in the lawn. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how we tackle DIY pest control in our yards. So the last couple of times that I mowed, I actually have noticed a few ant mounds that have popped up, kind of scattered throughout the lawn. And we are into April now, so it's a good time to go ahead and make our first bug treatments of the year. And when you're deciding what insect treatment that you actually want to take for your pest control, you basically have two main categories that you can choose from. You're either going to go the granular route or you're going to go the liquid route. And if you've watched the channel for a while, you know that I've shown y'all both types of products and used them both in my own lawn. And here's just a few that I had in my garage. So this is the triazocide insect killer for lawns. And this one is actually specifically for ants. It's called Taro ant killer so i could just go around to those ant beds and sprinkle that on top of there and that was effective last year and it worked and i actually have a lot of it left but what i'm actually going to do today is a blanket treatment on the entire lawn with a liquid product called bifen it the active ingredient in bifen it is bifenthrin and the product itself can be used to treat ants, roaches, spiders, fleas, ticks, mosquitoes, really a laundry list of insects. And I got it from a website called domyown.com. So right now, real quickly, I'm just gonna kind of run you through mixing it in your backpack sprayer, or if you have a handheld sprayer, basically it's going to be the same steps. First thing you're gonna do is fill your tank up halfway with water. So I have a four gallon tank. I use about a gallon of water per thousand square feet in my lawn and my lawn's just a tad over 4,000 square feet. So for the purposes of this video, we're just going to go with the four gallons here. So I have it filled just above two gallons. As far as the product goes, there are different application rates. The application rate that I'm gonna go with today is going to be one ounce of product per thousand square feet of lawn. So I'm gonna mix four ounces of this into my tank sprayer, and then I've gotta mix it up. You can see that there's an actual little measuring cup on the bottle itself for one ounce. So I'm just gonna fill this up four times and dump it into the tank. There's one. Okay, so now that I have the right amount of product in the tank, I'm gonna go ahead and go grab my drill and mix it up. This is a paint mixer attachment that I use to mix my fertilizers, herbicides, and pesticides in my tank sprayer. And I think it's actually the five gallon attachment, but I'm just gonna go ahead and put this in here and mix it up. And you just wanna make sure it's all agitated and mixed in with the water. I know one of the questions that I'll get from you guys is, is this product child and pet safe? And it is just after you apply, you wanna make sure that you give it a chance to dry before you let your kids or your pets go out and play in the yard. All right, now that we've mixed up the half full tank, we're gonna go ahead and top it off at the four gallon mark, and then we're gonna mix it again, and then we'll be ready to spray. All right, so now this is filled up, I'm going to grab the same mixer and make sure that it is mixed in completely now. All right, should be good to go there. And then another added benefit of treating your lawn for pests is that you're going to in turn get fewer bugs, insects that get into your house as well. So I've noticed a dramatic decrease in the amount of insects that we see in our house. And you can actually use bifen in your house too and along the perimeter of your house to treat for pests. But if you treat your lawn, you're gonna see a lot fewer bugs in the house as well. A couple of tips before we actually get going. You do wanna be wearing your proper protective gear and that's going to be gloves, long sleeves, long pants. I've got on some rubber rain boots and then some sort of protection for your eyes. And that's gonna be any time you're putting out a herbicide or a pesticide. You also don't wanna spray when it's overly windy and it's actually more windy than I would like it to be today. 
but it's not too, too bad. Basically you do that just so you don't lose a whole lot of product just drifting off into the wind. I am using the Soil App T-Jet tip today. I have a couple of different T-Jet nozzles. I have the Soil App one, and then this is actually the Foliar App one. And while I don't care if some of it does get on the, the leaf of the plant, I do want most of it to get in the soil and have that residual effect and control bugs for a long period of time. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on the backpack and get going. I just finished the front yard and the side yard, and then I did a little bit of the backyard, but it was in the shadows here, and I wanted y'all to be able to see me when I'm going over my explanation here. So whenever I am applying anything with my backpack sprayer, I'm putting the wand at about knee level, maybe a little under knee level, out to my side, and then I'm just walking in straight lines back and forth. And each pass, I'm gonna overlap slightly with my last pass, and then I'm just working right now from the fence all the way to the side of the house. So it's just gonna look like this. When I go back to walk this way, I actually switch it to my left hand so it can still be to my side. And as far as the pace that I'm walking, it's not a sprint or anything, but I'm walking at a good brisk walking pace. I just finished in the backyard and I had a little extra product. So what I did and what I would recommend that y'all do, especially with pesticides, is just go around the perimeter of your house and then just keep spraying until you eventually empty the tank. And I was actually just reading the label and earlier I told y'all that you didn't have to water this product in, which is true, but I did read that if you are specifically wanting to treat subsurface insects, like mole crickets was the example that it gave, then you do want to get down at least a quarter inch of water after application. Also, as far as how often to apply this product, the label mentions that for outdoor use, you should do it every 30 days, and for indoor use, you should do it every 90 days. I personally push it a little further than that in my lawn, so maybe like a month and a half or two months, but it does depend on your application rates and what you're trying to treat. I know that another question that I'll get is if you can mix Bifen IT with other products. I have in the past, I didn't today. Today it's just the product and water, but always do a jar test before you mix anything because you don't want to make a toxic sludge in your sprayer. I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up right there. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave it a like. If you're enjoying the content and you wanna to continue to see more of it, hit that black subscribe button below. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave those in the comment section below. I'll see you all again soon. Lawn Insider, out.